Welcome back to the YouTube channel. It's your boy Mr. Ghana Baby, and I'm back again with another video. And this video is called A Moment of Truth. I mean, enough is enough, enough of the lies, enough of spreading propaganda on Twitter. I mean, I don't know why you guys are trying to tell us that nothing really happened whilst we have all the proofs to confirm what was really happening to our fellow brothers and sisters living in China. If today is your first time seeing this face on your screen, please do me a favor and subscribe to this YouTube channel. And this video that I'm going to share today is really important to me. So if you're watching this video, or even if you're here for the first time, or even if you're here and you don't like watching my videos, please do me a favor and share this video on all your social media platform. Because... They've already spread the propaganda. They've already convinced African leaders that nothing really happened. They've started spreading videos that are not real, that they force people to say what they are not supposed to say for us to believe in their lives. A video that I saw on Twitter, on uh, I think Chinese embassy in Kenya, it was so funny. Like they said, oh, we treat all foreigners the same. And then it was in the bus where black person enters the bus and a white person enters the bus and Chinese people also enter the bus. I mean, tighten your propaganda videos because I feel like I can even do a good job creating propaganda videos more than the people who have been creating propaganda video for you guys. And this video is here to expose all the lies. That's what I call this video, the moment of truth. So please do me a favor, share this video without even watching to the end, but stay tuned don't go anywhere i think this is going to be a long video but make sure you watch this video to the end to find out what really happened to the pregnant woman at the hospital in china the story is real but they are making it looks like nothing like that happened the husband reached out to me and said you know what Rodemeyer? i love what you do and i'm ready to share this to the world the world has to know the true colors of China, especially Africans. But this brother knows that this information that he's sharing is not going to be safe anymore in China. So I'm just urging each and every one of you, if we can do something to support him and get him out of China, he'll be very grateful. But I saw a video that was really, really funny to me when Chinese people were trying to play basketball with an African family of which when you see this African family, you know that these people have no idea how to play basketball. I mean, if you really want to spread propaganda, you have to tighten your game. This is a very cheap one. I mean, how can you be spreading said propaganda, but you are warning African students living in Angwe as I'm talking to you. It doesn't make sense. Come on. But you know what? I'm not here for that. This is just a moment of truth. And I'm just going to tell you everything that the husband shared with me. I mean, when you check the Chinese embassy in Uganda and Kenya, this is the kind of propaganda that they are spreading. Do you speak Chinese? No, no, we don't speak Chinese. Okay. Check. Uh, waiting, waiting. Wait. Waiting. Wait. 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 So they want to say foreigners are not allowed in the hospital? You know, it's fine, no problem. It's okay. I don't think it's necessary. You know, it's okay. It's fine, no problem. Thank you. Okay. For their accent you are furious when you see this video come on what do you expect we were extremely angry for treating human beings like that not to talk of a pregnant woman come on have respect for what humanity hi hello 
we are thankful for the government services, the hospital services. We have come here for medical care and uh, we have tested everything, the blood, we have done all the checks we need and they are actually taking us for shopping. And you are here bringing this propaganda video for us to believe? No, you guys cannot fool us anymore. Come on. And you know why I told you guys that you need to tighten your propaganda videos? Because the main video was four minutes and your edited video is just one minute. <laughs> this is so funny. But hey, I don't want to waste so much of your time. Let's go hear from the husband what he has to say. Hi, uh, what am I? Uh, my name is Aderik Cheyne. I'm a Ugandan. Yeah, well, I'm here to tell you briefly about the story that has been going on, trending on uh, social media. Actually, me and my wife are the people you're seeing in that video who were denied hospital services. So what really happened, it was on the 29th of March, my wife got some uh, complications in her tummy. We happened to have gotten uh, a hospital somewhere on the GPS map. And that is how we ended up to that hospital. We were looking for gyno hospitals and the map brought us that very place. We got there, but then the nurse could not let us enter. And I managed to record that video that we sent out. So what happened was, after the video went viral, the Dongwon government, because the people who came to our house introduced themselves as people from the Dongwon government, yeah, so they told us they are here to help us in one way or another. First, they wanted to first confirm whether it's us in the video. Yeah, we were like, we are the people. Then after, they told us they will get us another hospital. First, they told us that that hospital does not handle foreigners. Yeah, the hospital does not handle foreigners. Yeah, that was what the first official said. Then the other official came in because there were like three teams that came to our places at different times on that very day. So the first one was like, that hospital does not handle foreigners. Then one other official comes in and says, the hospital didn't have anyone to help us understand. Okay, like they didn't have someone to translate for us. Probably maybe that is why. So we all saw the video, you can see what exactly happened. <clears throat> so what happened was these people tell us they will book for us another hospital to help us do the scan that we wanted. Yeah, we were like, it's okay with us. It is what we had wanted in the first place. The following day, last Sunday, what day was it? Last Sunday, it was last Sunday. They took us to another hospital. They actually picked us from our home. They took us to another hospital. We found a nurse waiting for us at the gate. They were okay with us. We don't complain about the services she gave us. They gave us quite a lot of time. And everything was okay in the hospital. I appreciate that part. So after we were done with the hospital, they asked me to record a video thanking the government of China, thanking uh, the hospital people, as you might hear in one of the audios I've sent you, but then as you could hear, I was talking about what had happened to me in the first place, but then the gentleman didn't want me to say anything like that in the video, so he kept, he kept on telling me, you say this, you have to say that, you have to say that, until I had no option to no option, rather, I had no option but to just say whatever he wanted me to say. And uh, would you just make a short video for us? Because uh, something you say is, uh, how to say, uh, maybe a little long, but would it make it short oh. about our service? Yeah, the point, sorry. The point is first, the government service, the me medical service. The third is about your three requisitions of the acid test, pregnancy scan, and about the free shopping, which we will take you later. Yeah, the five key things is about service of government, service of our medical, and uh, the reproduction of your acid text, pregnant scan, and about the free shot. Okay. All right. Uh, um, 
as possible, I'll make it clear or something uh, short as possible, okay? Alright. Yeah. All right. Okay, we are making this video to make clear of the services we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Oh. Okay. Oh, hi. Hello. Hello. We are back in your camera. We are thankful for the government services, the hospital services. We have come here for free medical care and uh, we have tested everything the blood we have done all the checks we need and they are actually taking us for shopping we are going to do shopping yeah basically and we are very happy for government that service, medical service. happy for the government services our baby is safe and we are happy for now thank you thank you thank you I appreciate and uh, as a site we can take you to the shopping center which you can bring go okay. he even said we say we are going free shopping I had no option I had to say everything the way he wanted so after that we came back home actually not home but then on the same building next to our home they took us to a certain mall that very mall that bounced me some time but myself being just sent away from the mall and then that hospital hospital video also so after the hospital they brought us back to the mall they had told us we are going to do free shopping as you can hear that very gentleman in one of the audios they did what they bring us to the mall, they keep recording videos of us getting into the mall. We expected to do what he had told us, like we are getting free shopping. So me and my wife got different cards, we were just packing in everything. So I was recording most of the things in the, in the mall, the way they were happening on my camera. But then later I saw it was taking my battery i switched off the camera and put the phone in the pocket but then after this gentleman sees me put the phone in the pocket he approaches me and tells me they are leaving they are finished covering us so i ask him you told us we are going to do free shopping who is going to pay for everything we are packing in the cuts he was like no 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 no. this is not what i meant you're going to pay for your own things so he was like he didn't mean free shopping like us getting our goods paid for him like our groceries paid for, like him paying our groceries maybe it's me who doesn't understand what free shopping means then they disappear until the following morning i see the video being edited emphasizing the point how me i didn't understand what the nurse was telling us from the first hospital where we were sent away I really don't know what these people were up to. So basically what they are trying to do is to clear their image, but then put the blame on us. So far that video has been online for like two days now, but you should see what is happening in my inbox. People are attacking me with all sorts of words. How could I do this? How could I do that? How could I lie to the people that I'm going through a tough time yet? It's my bogus head not understanding what these people are telling me, really. So it's more like these people actually had, this very man had, had had asked me to get the video off the internet, that first video, to delete it off the internet. But then I told him I have no control over that now. It's everywhere. People have seen it. So probably what he wanted was the video to get deleted, the original video to get deleted. Then they post this one of theirs that they have edited. Mind just uh, uh, send a message or kind of additions for some pictures concerning concerning you are actually the services we have provided including the medical and the government service which make you happy or satisfied would you mind just send a message in your uh, wechat friendship okay Post. i will try and, that uh, yeah the first try. thing and the second would you just um, would you just uh, say that the how to say the dalan hospital in nanhua nanhua right you remember La yes. Last, yeah, the yeah. Nanhua, Nanhua, how to say, Nanhua female uh, hospital uh, incident maybe is a misunderstanding just because the language barrier or misunderstanding that uh, causes unfair 
reputation for Dongguan. That is okay. Is that okay for you? All right, I will try to do that. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just uh, two, 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 uh, two things. One is for you uh, delighted for our service, including the medical and the government of Dongguan. And the second is for the misunderstanding and sorry for for the burial misunderstanding and uh, it's a rep- bad reputation for Dongguan. That is okay. All right, it's okay. Let me let okay. me do that. Let me do that. Yeah, yeah. Right. thank you. Okay, let me send okay. you a screenshot. Yeah, you can no, no, no just just send to me, just uh, post it in your WeChat. Okay, no problem. Let okay, me do that now. Okay, mm-hmm. you can't fool us anymore. Maybe you can fool the people leading the continent, but the youths are waking up. Now you know the truth. All you need to do is to help me spread the word, share the video, tag a friend, tag your ministers and your presidents for them to know the truth that. Our fellow brothers and sisters living in China went through this. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to be part of this awesome family. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think of this video. And don't forget to like the video. I'm going to see you.